You know, there is the issue here goes to the character of the individual, Barack Obama, and that is a legitimate issue in a political campaign. The American people have a right to know what makes him tick. Who really he? Who is he really? And where does he? Is he likely to take this nation? It all goes back to these associations, right. to his words. David, character is yeah. legitimate. Character. But David, is, is it is it getting votes? Is is one of the it, problems in this campaign? There seems to be a turnoff of negativism. Yes. Now it. it I, I'm not saying these are not legitimate questions, but they really aren't working. And I keep thinking, like, if, if in 1932, uh, Herbert Hoover tried to win the presidency by pointing out that, supposing it were true, that Governor Roosevelt had signed a petition in favor of Sacco and Vanzetti. Sacco and Vanzetti were ba bad guys, but people had more immediate problems. And, you know, again, I, I, what is so striking about this campaign is the McCain campaign keeps talking past the country. And it's a sign of the trouble our party is in. We are talking about the things we care about. We care about Bill Ayers. We care about Jeremiah Wright. And I'm not even going to say we're wrong to care about those things. But it's just in the face of the overwhelming evidence that the country cares about other things, we're saying, well, we're going to talk about what we want to talk about. Thank you very much. And uh, if you're not interested, why, you've let us down. We work for them. And what they care about is what we should be caring about. And, and John, but that is just not the case. John McCain has made a very strong um, argument on the economy, which is the key issue. But the key here is, Larry, that you have one candidate ahead of the other. So you have, and his underbelly is very soft. They went to Obama not because they're attracted to him, but because they're so angry with Republicans. And so that's what we got to do. We got to move that underbelly back into the undecided column, make people but, think that he's not the right guy. And John McCain brings him home with his well, economic policy. I, I just Susan, like didn't to say, send, didn't didn't McCain promise that though a clean above board campaign? Well, he did indeed. And first of all, I absolutely object to the fact that there is something wrong with Barack Obama's character. I think he is an extraordinary man who's been deeply courageous himself to put himself forward in this election. He has amassed one of the most impressive groups of uh, people endorsing him, including, as I mentioned, Colin Powell. But look at who he attracted early on. Uh, during the Democratic primaries, people like Sam Nunn and Bill Bradley and Paul Volcker. I mean, I think it's outrageous. And you know, at some point, this becomes exceedingly dangerous, uh, especially in, in economic times of uh, stress and strain, uh, to be trying to uh, use divisive issues like this to set one part of the country against the other. I'm for Barack Obama because he's going to bring us together. He demonstrated that to me 20 months ago and when I first met him, and I think this is crucial for our country. John, stop your ads. Bring down those robocalls. If it's about the economy, argue about the economy. Not about Barack Obama's character. Not about these scurrilous ads. John, stop these calls. We have to unite this nation when it's over. We have to pull it back together. And ladies and gentlemen, these attacks don't hurt Barack Obama. They hurt you. They divide the country. They distract people or attempt to distract you from the things that are affecting people's everyday lives. Barack Obama and I can take two more weeks of these attacks, but our country cannot take four more years of this policy and these politics. It must end. It must stop now.